Tasha and I'm an artist based in Singapore. Today I'm going to talk to an aspiring dancer. I don't know who he is, but let's find out. My name is Jeff Huff. Uh, you can call me Jeff for short. Uh, currently, I'm a university student, but also still aspiring to become a full-time dance teacher, performer, and also perhaps an instructor. Sit here. Um, for me, uh, dance is kind of, um, it started from a hobby and then uh, it turned into more of a passion and kind of like, it relates to how I feel in certain days and it's kind of like an, a way for me to express certain type of emotions and thoughts that I'm not really able to put into words at times in certain situations. Kind of like a dream job to me to be able to use um, my hobby and passion to be making a living out of it, yeah. I think currently, the setbacks that I'm having right now is um, one thing is being a student and also um, how competitive um, the dance industry is in Singapore. I believe everyone is also having kind of the same dream and uh, aspirations to be a full-time dancer and, or instructor in a sense. So Jeff, uh, would it be great if someone could actually give you advice right now? Oh, right now? Yeah, right yes, now. I think that would be something that's awesome. Which the divider factors. Oh, hello. hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Jeff Huff. Uh, you can call me Jeff. I'm Tasha and I'm an artist based in Singapore. I heard that you have um, been aspiring to be a dancer. Yes. And how has that been for you? I am currently still like in the training phase, like getting to know people in mm. the industry and like things still trying to get recognized. Making a name for yourself is very important, I believe. And yes. I'm still in that progress of like training. And, yeah. What kind of dance do you do? Oh, I kind of started with hip hop. Okay. Yeah, I think I started four years ago with hip hop, mm. and then I did venture into other genres such as mm. hopping, locking. I even took up jazz. Wow. Yeah, jazz. So a little bit of content here and there too, mm. and stuff. Yeah. Since young, I've been exposed to ballroom dancing, Latin dance, mm. and um, when I was fifteen, I was very into hip hop dance. I went to Korea at the age of seventeen, and then after years of training, I found that. Along the way, of course, you feel that you're not good enough or maybe there are a lot of obstacles along the way that made you feel like maybe you don't want to pursue this anymore. Mm. But I think as long as you have the passion and actually hard work does play a huge part in, in your expertise. Yeah, mm. Many people think that it's very glamorous and it's very cool to go to Korea to, to train. But mm. in fact, I think many people don't really know the hard work and effort that Mm, trainees put in mm. and how tough it is to be away from the world because they kind of take away your phones don't give you access to internet so it's really a lot of sacrifices to put in okay i think i can't live with without instagram for like 10 minutes yeah <laughs> it's the <laughs> constant urge to refresh yeah. and keep up with what everyone's doing i think everyone's gonna laugh at me but you know <laughs> high school musical mm. yeah so i used to play that over and over and then like copy their dance and like mm. imagine I'm one of their castmates and then like dancing alone in my home mm. living room. Mm. Yeah. So I think it's pretty cool to like actually meet someone who was a K-pop star before and like yeah. bucket list <laughs> fulfilled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess everyone has that past. Like, I also mm. used to uh, follow my favorite Taiwanese idols, mm. like singing in front of the mirror and dancing. But yeah, if you want to pursue it as a career, I think you really got to ask yourself, um, are you willing to put in that effort? Are you willing to sacrifice your time? And, and also always keep reminding yourself like why you love this so much. Mm. So after you finish school, what are your plans? Well, I haven't actually thought that far yet. So firstly, I think it would be actually to secure a kind of a stable part-time job mm. to I think still be able to allow me some free time to actually work, still working on my craft and like still mm. pursuing that side of dancing full-time. Okay. I think the one path I'm looking forward to I think is being a backup dancer. Mm. For I think starting with like local artists and mm. such and probably one day be dancing for like you never know International Jay. stars, yeah. yeah. International stars. I think um, it is actually very important to uh, keep yourself prepared for any opportunities that mm. come your way. So I think, yeah, that's a very good plan to 
still, you know, hone your craft. Yeah. So one advice I have for people who want to pursue their dreams and passions, there's a Korean phrase that I live by. It is called "노력 배신하지 않는다," which means like your effort will never betray you. So really put in your best and no complaints. That was the coolest thing I've heard in All Korean. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, Because thanks. I really believe that if you really put in your 100%, put in that effort, mm. like your effort will not betray you. It will show. Mm. Like when you go for auditions or if you perform on stage, people will feel it, people can see it. Mm. And that's when you gain the recognition and that's what brings you closer to your dreams. Mm. That really like hits the, I think the heart and like make the fire bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a sense. Yeah, so really big thanks for, for that advice. Yeah. I think it was a very eye-opening experience uh, talking to Tasha. Um, she's, a, she's a very uh, nice, genuine uh, person when um, conversing with her. So I think it was a great way of like talking to someone being in the industry um, for quite some time and for them to actually share their experience and um, certain tips and advice that I could probably take for myself. And also, I think I'm very grateful for this um, talk that I was able to have with her and there's nothing stopping you if you're really like down to chase your dreams and like go for it with all your heart.